Monday morning and I'm off to work. I'm determined to make this a better vlog than last week. Um, I'm enrolling at uni this week so I'm hoping to show you some of my stuff that I've got for going back to uni because I never got around to filming a back to uni haul. Um, so I'll probably show you that in this vlog. And yeah, haven't really got much on other than that but I'm going to try and make it more interesting for you. Hey guys, it's me again, about to head off to work again. Um, not doing very well with this whole filming business, am I? Um, however, I just wanted to quickly film um, a little bit this morning whilst I looked half okay um, because I had some super exciting news yesterday. Basically, I've been given the opportunity to go to uh, Planacon Europe in Brussels and it was an opportunity I could not say no to. So last night my boyfriend booked my flight and my hotel for me um, and I'm going to pay him back when my student loan comes in <laughs> on Monday. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to Planacon Europe at the end of October. It will be my first time flying by myself and I'm absolutely petrified. <laughs> Hi, so I've just got home from work and I've got some exciting posts so I thought I would share that with you um, and then I will tell you more about my exciting Planacon Europe news and um, I will tell you more about what else I'm doing today. The PR people behind Vilofax um, contacted me a couple of weeks back and asked if I wanted to um, review one of their new notebooks and of course I said yes so this has arrived and it's a beautiful like pastel but almost like salmon pink I don't know if you can see that so I'm very excited to get into that and film a review um, and also I've received a parcel from Mutts and Hounds England there's their website there and um, basically they sell beautiful like luxury um, pet and home items um, and somebody left a comment on one of their pictures on Facebook saying something really mean about their products. I can't even remember what it was now, but it was something along the lines of saying they're pointless or something. Um, and I left a comment on the photo, just giving them a little bit of support, not in a confrontational way towards this other person. Um, I just said that I um, sell pet accessories myself. I know how it feels when someone doesn't appreciate what you do um, and not to take their comments on board. I think their stuff's beautiful and all that jazz. And um, one of the lovely ladies um, who runs the company messaged me and said they would like to gift me um, a voucher to spend. So I ordered Archie a harness and it has just arrived. I wasn't sure on sizing because Archie is such a weird shape. Um, he's basically like a sausage dog but thinner. So here is the harness. I went for the slate check, I think it's called. It's lovely. Winnie has a really posh one from Teddy Maximus and Archie didn't have a posh one to match so I've gone with this one. Stylish and fabulously British, each M&H product is designed in England especially for your dog. Beautiful, let's try it on him. I'm thinking that the neck measurement is going to be perfect but that this might be too small. I should have gone for an extra small, but the extra small, the neck seemed to be huge and I knew it would be too big, so we'll try it anyway. I've just tried it on him and unfortunately it is too small, so that will have to go back um, and hopefully we can exchange it for an extra small. Oh, it looks so bad. Oh. Right, so I've packaged that straight back up to go back, which is sad, but... It's a super simple um, returns process. I'll just send it back and I've popped a note in there saying I'd like to exchange it for a smaller, uh, for a bigger size. So um, yeah, I will post that off today because I've got some Etsy orders to post. But I will come and sit in the living room and chat to you about the other thing I'm doing this afternoon, um, which I'm excited about and very nervous so, about. So I am going back to uni today. I'm going back to enrol at uni today. I've told you guys a couple of weeks ago, and I've mentioned it obviously lots of times, that, um, sorry, the dogs are climbing all over me, that um, I'm going back to university to do a master's degree. Winnie, please get off this blanket. But yeah, I've mentioned several times that I'm going back to um, the university I previously studied at to do a master's degree. 
and um, today is enrolment day so I'm heading off to enrol um, probably in a couple of hours I think enrolment for my course and surname um, is until quarter to four and then there is actually like a wine and refreshments evening for all MA history students which I wanted to go to but now I'm just like I don't know if I will because I'm tired and oh, I don't know I'm just not really feeling it um but I'm not sure what to do really I thought there was a talk on tomorrow night as well for history MA students so now I'm like I don't know what to go to but I'll keep you updated when I decide um but yeah, I think I'm going to go and actually just hang out in Winchester for a bit because there's a Kath Kidston there and I really want to get myself a new lanyard because you might have noticed I wear a lanyard for work and a lot of people have changed theirs to like pretty ones so I kind of want to do that um, and just have a wander around and yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> So I totally meant to film some of that, but, sorry, I'm being really awkward, um, yeah, I meant to film some of that, but, um, because it's freshers week, it was super crowded, um, at uni and I just didn't really feel comfortable filming, I guess, um, also, I don't know, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be, um, so obviously I am a graduate of my uni, and um, I think I kind of felt like I kind of expected going back to feel like going home almost like being somewhere that I'm used to and like enjoying it and feeling like I was back where I belong because I have so many good memories of the campus and the uni itself um, although you know like lots of my uni memories aren't great but I I felt like the campus itself and the uni itself like I, I thought it would feel like going back to you know a comforting place or something but it was just so different and the actual enrollment um, process was literally just like you know like done straight away like within five minutes and then I was just sort of sat there and um, I just felt really alone like everyone else was with somebody and because obviously the freshers are most of them are living on campus in student housing so they're all making friends with their flatmates and so everyone was with somebody um and I wasn't which is fine because obviously I'm probably classed as a mature student now um and I'm a returning student you know like I I've had a couple of years out so I don't know anyone um but yeah, I was sat by myself and then I realised that they were giving out free popcorn. So I was like, oh, I'll go get some free popcorn. Got it, went and sat down, ended up spilling it everywhere. So it wasn't quite the experience I was hoping for. But at the end of the day, like, it's the first day and I don't really know what I was expecting anyway. So I'm sure once the lectures start, it'll be fine. <laughs> Hey, so I haven't filmed today because I was rushing off this morning and I've got loads to do this afternoon as well. It's actually 20 past one now. I came home and had some lunch and I've taken the rubbish out and um, let the dogs out and all that sort of thing. So really I need to be getting on with a design team blog post and um, cleaning out the rabbits and posting out some Etsy orders but the house is a tip, especially the kitchen, and I've decided to just clean the kitchen first and then I'll tackle everything else afterwards. Hi guys, sorry I look bad, <laughs> that's because it's the end of another day, it's the end of Thursday. Yesterday actually took an exciting turn, which is why I didn't film as much, sorry if you can hear the dogs, they're coming. Um, 
my boyfriend actually got a new job yesterday so we went out to dinner at our favorite diner to celebrate that um and yeah didn't really do much else yesterday um and then today i got home from work and i was like frantically cleaning the the place because um one of my friends was coming around i haven't seen her since april because she moved to wales um but she's back for university we actually go to the same uni um so she is back um in our area and she came round today to catch up and see the dogs because like I said I haven't seen her since April she's just gone she's actually gone out for dinner with some of our other friends but I just didn't fancy it I went out for dinner last night um I'm trying to save money for Planacon um so yeah I didn't fancy it I'm gonna have a lazy night in I can't believe it's already Friday again tomorrow like that is just insane so yeah my friend has just gone the living room is all cozy I've got candles um, I tidied and hoovered and mopped and everything earlier before my friend came over so I've just got the opportunity to just chill and it is definitely nice to be home. Hi, it is Friday morning. I cannot believe it is Friday again already um, and I can't believe how terrible I am at vlogging. This is why I always stop my weekly vlogs around September time. This is why. Um, I really, really need some ideas of what you would like me to show you because I'm feeling like I get home from work and I've, I'm just not doing anything worth showing you and oh, I'm struggling. I just feel like I should quit the vlogs again <laughs> but um, so many of you said you really didn't want me to stop doing them so please give me some ideas in the comments below of things that you would like to see in weekly vlogs. Um, this afternoon is another one where I'm going to be super busy. I've got um, work a doctor's appointment and then I'm heading over to my mum's. Um, I haven't actually seen my mum all week which is unusual for me. Um, this week has just flown by, like completely flown by. I can't believe it was Monday that I was offered the Planacon ticket. Like that all happened on Monday and now it's Friday. Like I just don't know where this week has gone but um, then I'm going over to my boyfriend's parents house for dinner so my boyfriend has his first day at his new job today which is very exciting um, so he's gone off to work and he will be passing my parents house on the way home and we had agreed at the beginning of the week before he got this job um, that we would go for dinner at his parents house so it's just easier for me to go to my mum's and then he'll pick me up on the way so that we won't be late um, so yeah, again, I'm not gonna have very much to show you. Hello, I'm in the garden. I've just got home from work. Um, it's a gorgeous day here today. So I've just let the dogs out. Um, but I think I'm gonna take them for a walk because I've got lots to do this afternoon. I need to go to the doctors um, for 10 past two. So um, it's probably about half 12 now or coming up to half 12. So. I'm going to take the dogs out for a little walk now just to make sure they get a walk this afternoon and then I will go to the doctors. So that was a nice little stroll. It was only 25 minutes ish um just around the block um a couple of people have asked me on past weekly vlogs how many times a week i walk the dogs and i'm worried they're asking me because they think i don't walk the dogs because when i was just going around the block i didn't really see the point in filming it for you and that's what we do pretty much every day um, and then they get a couple of longer walks a week, normally at the weekend, um, we'll actually go and have a run. Um, because my two cannot be let off lead. Um, there's only one place that I let Archie off lead pretty much nowadays, and that is at Hailing Island. My dogs are reactive and basically they just can't be trusted. Um, so I try and make sure they get at least sort of 25 minutes, half an hour around the block every day. We play a lot of games with Archie. Winnie honestly is not fussed um, about whether she goes out or not, but we take her out, obviously. Um, Archie we play a lot of games with, like a lot of fetch. 
and um, that wears him out. If you look into dog behaviour and dog training, um, everyone says that a game of fetch or even like half an hour chewing on a chew toy is the same as a walk in terms of um, exercising their brain and everything. So um, I feel like we've got the balance pretty well. Their behaviour at home is really good. So I'm pretty sure that I walk them enough. But thank you for your concern. Doctor's appointment is done. I've got my prescription. So I will be over to mum's in just a minute. <laughs> oh Maggie Moo, I love you. Yes I do. Look at this princess. Look at her. Oh. oh. She is so sweet. Yes she is. And so big now. Pretty sure I showed this in a video recently, but here's my mum's beautiful Emma Bridgewater. She has way more than me. She also has this over here, and this cupboard is filled with all her Christmas stuff, all of this under here. You're not allowed up here, Mabel. Mabel, you're not allowed up here. I just don't know how my mum copes with this all day, every day. My dogs are a nightmare when I take them anywhere else, but they're so chill at home. <laughs> Whereas, because these guys are puppies, they're just, they have no chill. Absolutely no chill. What are you doing to Ruby? Girls, one day Ruby is gonna savage you. Today might be that day. Clearly they don't care. What is happening here? What is happening here? beautiful old lady she doesn't really like the camera this is just in case you're wondering why you never see bramble one she hates the camera as you can see she won't look at it she absolutely hates it oh that's good good girl she won't even really let me take photos of her also she's old very old aren't you you a very old lady yeah pretty girl you're all muddy did dad take you out this morning did dad take you to the woods this morning? Like he does every morning. He clearly didn't hose you down though, did he? Didn't hose you down though, did he? No. Oh, beautiful girl. I've shut these lot away so Bramble can have some peace for once. <laughs> Look at them. They're all lined up in a row, but Miss Bambino is out here having some peaceful time, huh? Hey, Woody, Woody, Just Woody. got home from having dinner at Will's parents and Winnie's tail is wagging so hard. Just a minute ago it was wagging so much it was just a blur, like couldn't even see it. I think she could smell the other dog on me. <laughs> Winnie, are you so excited? Yes! And Archie's excited too, but Winnie's tail is going like the clappers. Hello, it is Saturday afternoon, it's just coming up to 3 o'clock and it is a beautiful sunny day today. Um, I've been sat around all morning because last weekend was quite crazy. I went to, um, well I went down to Sussex on the Saturday and then I went to Woking on the Sunday. 
both of those are sort of like reasonably long drives for me so I really wanted to relax this weekend but um, I've sat in all morning and ended up getting super bored so I'm going to head to town because it is rumoured that lots of TK Maxx stores have Kiki K planners in at the moment so I'm going to go and see if ours has any but I highly doubt it. Um, but even if it doesn't, I'm going to have a look around and just have a little mooch, maybe get myself a nice Costa or Starbucks and then come home because we're going to a barbecue this evening at Will's parents. Um, because it is such a beautiful day, they want to make the most of the last of the summer sunshine. I can't even talk the last of the summer sunshine because today is, I think, the first official day of autumn. So, or at least it is in some parts of the world anyway. So, um, yeah. So we nipped out <laughs> to pick up a few things and all the Christmas stuff is out in Matalan and the range and Will bought Archie a Christmas pudding on a string. Yes, I know it's only September but you should see what I bought. I'll show you in a minute. But um, I think it's safe to say that Archie really likes his Christmas pudding on a string. He really, really likes it. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly Billy? He's so excited. <laughs> he loves getting new toys. Not that he needs any. I mean, look, his toys are everywhere. And he has a basket of toys over there too. Do you like it, Arch? <laughs> so the Christmas pudding toy was from Matalan. And then we went to the range. And they had so much Christmas stuff out. Um, I had just been saying to Will in the car that I don't like to buy Christmas stuff early. However, when I got in there, I just couldn't resist. Um, I got this blanket. It was $3.99. I think it's got like Santa and Rudolph on. Um, and I got that for Winnie because she absolutely loves blankets. So when I decorate the um, house for Christmas at the beginning of December, she can have that. I got a little wreath to go on the front door because I don't want to spend like £30 on one of the big ones. So this is just a cute little heart one. I got a, a little cute doorstop um, that kind of matches the decor that I go with at Christmas. And we always use a doorstop for that door. So I thought that would be cute. Again, when I decorate for Christmas, that was only £1.79. I got Archie another toy which I will put away for Christmas, it's another ball on a string. He absolutely loves these, they're his favourite kind of toys and he's always ruining them so every time he breaks one I get him another one. Um, so I'm going to pop that away for Christmas. And then last but not least I got some craft stuff. So I stocked up on white shipping tags because I always use those but I use them a lot more at Christmas. Um, some Christmas twine and then four washi tapes. This one just says happy and happy Christmas with uh, fairy lights on I think. This one is an airmail one and it says like from the North Pole and it's got Santa stamp. This one um, just says very merry Christmas but I really liked the um, font that they've used on it. And then this one I had to get because it is Christmas sausage dogs so obviously that one had to come home with me so yeah I can't really believe I've already bought Christmas stuff like this is early even for me but once I saw it I couldn't resist it so I'll try and make sure I stay away from it until closer to Christmas now um but I do quite like getting organized early with presents and stuff but with decorations and things I do think it's a bit early so I will have to try my best to steer clear of the range and Matalan and Home Bargains and B&M. They've all got their Christmas stuff out already. Um, but yeah, I am essentially Mrs. Claus and even I think it's a bit too early. So hopefully these will be my only purchases for now. Also, I can't remember if I showed you this or not yesterday, but these are the things I picked up when I went to town yesterday afternoon. I got an A4 size planner um, and I know what you're thinking you don't need another planner and the answer is no I, I don't need another planner however I really liked how this one was set out and it's got the monthly pages as well if I can find them there we go it's 
It's got monthly pages as well. It's really nice and big. There's loads of room to write in it. And I thought this might be really useful when I'm sort of getting stuck into my um, degree because obviously I'm going back and doing a master's degree for two years. Um, and also I went to Primark and I got Lumiere, the Lumiere purse, and the Mrs. Potts purse because my mum got me the chip one last weekend. So I think the only one I need now is Cogsworth, the clock, but he definitely wasn't in there yesterday. Well, we're about to go on a walk and it started raining. <coughs> Winnie's not happy about the rain. No, no. And boyfriend is putting air in my tires because I never do these things. I'm a terrible car owner and I noticed that I was using a ton of petrol and boyfriend got in my car and was like, yeah, your tires are underinflated. I can feel it. <laughs> so yeah.